Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the world of Logstash on Linux. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started with log management, you're in the right place. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the process of downloading and setting up Logstash step-by-step. -step. But we won't stop there. We'll also craft a straightforward configuration for both input and output, ensuring you're equipped with the essentials to kickstart your log processing journey. So grab your favorite beverage, fire up your terminal, and let's get started with Logstash. You can go ahead and download any instance of Logstash. I am going for Logstash version Once Logstash is downloaded and up and running on your Linux system, it's time to understand the magic that happens when it starts parsing your data. As data flows through Logstash, it undergoes a transformation process where it's ingested, parsed, and enriched according to your specified configurations. Logstash's powerful parsing capabilities allow it to break down complex logs into meaningful fields, making your data more structured and easier to analyze. From there, you can route it to various outputs such as Elasticsearch or even other systems for further processing. So sit tight and prepare to witness firsthand how Logstash turns raw data into valuable insights. After downloading your desired Logstash version, extract it using the command on screen. I will add it to the description of this video. Look at that Logstash is downloaded, extracted, and ready to be used. Navigate over to the Logstash config file and edit it with the configuration files I am using, which will be also attached to the description. This would be a standard Logstash config for testing.
Please use the following command to run logstash with the config file we just created. You would also need to be in the main logstash directory to run this command. And there you go. Congratulations, you have started up your first very own Logstash session. Now that we've successfully installed and configured Logstash with a standard input and output, it's time to roll up our sleeves and dive into the exciting world of data parsing. Armed with the knowledge we've gained so far, you can now unleash their creativity and experiment with parsing various types of data. Whether it's log files, system metrics, or custom application data, Logstash provides the flexibility to handle it all. By tinkering with different filter plugins and configurations, you can fine tune their parsing skills and tailor Logstash to their specific use cases. So don't hesitate to get hands on and explore the endless possibilities that Logstash offers for data parsing and analysis. If you like this content, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. That would be much appreciated. I created a custom config file to parse some IBM log files. Please follow along to see how a grok pattern looks in a logstash config file. Grok patterns are typically used to parse and modify data. <laughs> 